Hi students, so previously we have seen determination of density using pore cutter method ok. So today we are going to perform the determination of density uh, by sand replacement method ok. First of all we will see the difference between core cutter and sand replacement method ok. So core cutter method is basically it is suitable for stiff clays ok. It is suitable for stiff clays because we are penetrating the soil. So the soil it should sustain that thing it should not fall right only stiff clays are suitable for performing uh, uh, using core cutter method right but when it comes when it comes to non cohesive soil or soft soil it is not possible to find out the density using core cutter method ok. So we will go for sand replacement method so sand replacement method is suitable for non cohesive soils or soft clays we can say that right. So how we are going to find out the density using sand replacement method we have also seen importance of densities in the previous class when we are discussing about core cutter we will see more focus more on how we are going to determine the density using sand replacement here right. So basically density is mass by volume so what we do is we will take to, to the field uh, we will take we will dig out the soil using this metal tray we will keep this metal tray and we will dig the soil ok because as we are saying it is soft soil or soft clay. So it is very easy it is very convenient to dig the soil using any you know uh, digging instrument ok. We will take the soil from that particular uh, area which we and that area is known ok. We will dig up to 15 centimeters and the diameter of the core cut uh, diameter here is 10 centimeters. So that we will get the volume of the soil uh, uh, that is there ok. And also to find out the density we need mass ok. We have the volume that is occupied by the soil but now we need the mass of the soil that is coming out from that particular volume ok. So in order to find that uh, uh, mass and in order to find the volume mass can be found directly right. The mass of the soil can be calculated directly we can measure that mass directly. But the measuring of the volume is very very important right. So I, you can ask me sir we know the dimensions 15 centimeters is the depth 10 centimeters is the dia of that particular thing. If you calculate using this formula volume using this formula you may get the volume directly right. So but it is not as simple as that right because while we are digging it is not exactly you know in horizontal line right. So while we are because we are doing with some digging instruments it may have some undulations like that. So it indicates the volume is not properly calibrated ok. So in order to find the exact volume of the soil that is occupied by this mass of the soil we will use one calibrating soil that is sand ok. So previously what we do is first we will uh, determine the density of the sand in the laboratory and while we are going into the field uh, we will pour the soil that is we will pour the sand into the volume that which we have digged and we will note the mass of the soil. So if you know the mass of the sand that is occupying the volume of the uh, dig, dig soil. So we will get the uh, uh, using this relation because we know the density if you know the mass of the soil that is occupying that particular volume you will get the volume of the sand ok. The volume of the sand is nothing but the volume occupied by this particular initial soil sample ok. So we will know the mass and we know the volume we can directly calculate mass by volume as a bulk density and using uh, determine by determining the water content in that particular soil sample we can calculate the water content and that is how we calculate the dry density using this formula right gamma d is equal to gamma bulk by water content right. Simple how we are going to find density density is nothing but mass by volume mass you will get whatever the soil that is coming out of this uh, hole it will you will calculate as mass but while finding the volume it is not properly calibrated. So we cannot exactly find out the volume because there were some undulations out here. So in order to find the exact volume of this soil that is occupying we will take this help of sand we will initially measure the volume density of the sand and we will pour the sand here right. With respect to the mass of the sand we know the density of the sand right multiplying by with the mass of the sand it will give the volume right using this relation we will get volume of the sand is nothing but volume of that particular soil sample right. So mass by volume it gives dry density and that is how we calculate dry density right. So we will perform the test now. Ok students so we came to know how we are going to find out the density using sand replacement method. In sand replacement method determination of density of sand is very important. Initially we are finding the density of sand and we are using in 
finding the density of soil sample right. So, in order to find uh, all these things we need few apparatus. So, the important apparatus for finding the density of sand are this is sand pouring cylinder ok. You can see this is sand pouring cylinder and this is uh, this is a container or cylindrical container ok. So, in this container only we are pouring this sand ok and we know the dimensions of this container this is having 10 uh, sorry 10 mm 10 centimeters as a dia and 15 centimeters as the height and we use this metal tray with the same exact dimensions the di diameter of this hole is 10 centimeters and we will dig the soil in field up to 15 centimeters and that we will collect that soil sample and we will uh, weight that soil as the mass of the soil ok. And also we required this glass plate in uh, while finding the density I will explain how it is important and also we required uh, determination of water content right. So, that we it will helpful for finding the dry density of the soil. So, we need any tins and of course, we need the weighing balance ok and we also need most important also we also need some you know uh, soil that is to be uh, you know excavating tools ok. So, we will use this uh, and these are all the typical apparatus that are required for the uh, finding finding of density using sand replacement method. We have seen the importance and we have seen the apparatus that are required for the density determination in field. Now, we will go to perform the test and we will see uh, how it works right. So, the most important uh, 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 thing to do in sand replacement method is to find out the density of the sand because we are using the sand to calibrate and we are uh, finding the volume of the soil <coughs> using sand only. So, it is very essential to find the density of the sand. So, how do we find the density of the sand? Density is nothing but mass by volume ok. So, we are taking some container here I know the volume I know the diameter the diameter is 10 centimeters and height is 15 centimeters that is how we ca calculate the volume and we need to take the weight of the sand that is filling this completely right. So, I have this cylindrical container with this is known as sand pouring cylinder uh, container ok. So, I am taking the initial reading it is 7369 gram before pouring into this container ok. So, I will be pouring here. So, I am releasing the shutter here. So, we can here we can see there is a movement of sand that indicates the soil is the sand is flowing into this container ok. It will stop when there is when the uh, container is filled completely still it is going. So, it indicates it is still empty. So, there is no movement now still ok. So, the sand which we are taken it should be well graded sand and it should pass 1 mm sieve and it should retain on 600 microns. We need to take that type of sand only otherwise it will stuck in between. So, it should be well graded and it should pass 1 mm and it should retain on 600 micron sieve right. So, here there is no movement. So, I can close the shutter now here we can see. So, this is how it looks after stopping uh, through that uh, penetrating cone. So, I will be taking the uh, weight of this sample. So, it is showing around 3629 grams right, but the soil you can see here uh, this is the extra soil. So, we need to subtract this soil ok. How do we get that soil? So, if, if we allow that uh, sand pouring cylinder to freely fall, fall on a glass plate. So, it will be the same soil ok. So, this is actually coming because the cone pen it uh, the, the here you can see some white space here. So, this is the reason it is coming like that. So, we need to take the weight of this soil sample also. So, this was around 133 grams 133 grams. 
so so initially it was around 7369 grams and after pouring into the cylinder it was around 3629 grams right so if you substitute uh, w2 imagining this is w2 and w3 if you substitute uh, w2 and w3 from the initial w1 we will get the weight of the sand that is filling completely right so we know the weight of the sand and we know the volume we can calculate the density of the sand using mass by volume relation right so previously we have seen the importance of density and uh, apparatus that are required for finding the density using sand replacement method okay so before uh, coming to this uh, field experiment we need to uh, find out the density of the uh, sand okay so we are calibrating using sand uh, we should know the density of the sand okay so i'll explain how do we going to find out the density of the sand okay this is sand pouring cylinder as i have mentioned earlier okay so we need to dig the soil okay we have this a metal metallic tray with hole okay so the diameter of the hole is 10 cm and the depth is 15 cm you can see have dig uh, dig in the soil here and it is approximately and of course it is uh, 15 cm okay and i have collected the soil that is present in this uh, you know hole okay so i am taking this aside you can see that you can see that it is uh, uh, exactly 15 centimeters in depth and 10 centimeters in dia okay and now i am noting the weight of the so sand that is uh, occupying this particular hole okay so before uh, pouring into this particular hole we should know the weight of the sand with this calibrating container right so i have already noted that reading and placing here and i am opening using this shutter okay so here you can see the soil is moving okay okay you can see the soil is moving okay it is filling the whole uh, hole here the sand should be uh, the sand that is used here should be uh, passing 1 mm and it should be retaining on 600 uh, mm okay we should take that type of sand only because uh, because while we are releasing it may if the particle size is more than that uh, thing it may stuck in between okay so for that purpose we need to see passing 1 and retaining 600 microns okay so we need to wait till there is no further movement of the sand right there is a slight movement still there is a slight movement okay, it indicates that soil is still passing into that hole hole is not filled yet okay yeah so there is no movement here so i can close the shutter okay and we can see the soil is filled up to some level okay so we should note the weight of the soil that is present right so with respect to that we can calculate the weight of the sand that is you know uh, filling this hole okay so using this you know small calibration we can calculate the weight of the soil that is uh, you know occupying the volume of the hole okay using that simple formula of density of sand is equal to mass by volume we can calculate the volume of the sand sand that is occupying this particular hole okay so that volume is nothing but the uh, volume occupied by the particular soil right the original soil right so we know the mass of the soil we know the volume occupied by the soil and we can calculate the bulk density and finding the moisture content it helps in determining the dry density and that's it so we are noting the value of the sand right here okay i am allowing the sand to fall into this glass plate okay so we should wait until there is no movement of the sand here so that indicates it is fully filled already right so so we'll be taking the weight of this particular sand and i am noting it as w2 that is 83 grams okay so this indicates uh, so initially the weight of this uh, w1 is the weight of the sand by uh, before pouring and w2 is the weight of the sand plus cylinder after pouring into the hole 
and W3 is the weight of the uh, sand that is present on this glass plate ok and if you substitute uh, W1 minus W2 minus W3 it will give the volume of the sand that is there into the sorry weight of the sand that is there into the hole and if we know the weight of the sand and if we know the density of the sand we can calculate the volume of the sand as I have mentioned earlier that volume of the sand is nothing but the volume occupied by the soil into that particular hole ok. So, we know the weight of the soil that is mass of the soil and we know the volume occupied by the soil by uh, uh, dividing mass by volume we will get the density and using own, uh, own drying method we have found out the we can find the water content and using this formula gamma d is equal to gamma bulk by 1 plus water content we can calculate the dry density of the soil right. So, this is the whole uh, you know experimental about the determination of density using sand replacement method. So, uh, this is a density is nothing but mass by volume. So, we have collected the weight of the soil sample that is collected from the hole ok. The dimensions of the hole are 10 centimeters and 15 centimeters right. So, we have noted the weight of the soil that is collected from the hole right. So, we need the volume of the hole now right. So, in order to find the volume of the hole we need to uh, we have calibrated using sand right. So, we have found the density of the sand right density of the sand is again nothing but mass of the sand divided by the volume occupied by the sand right. So, this is the volume of the co uh, cylindrical container that we know. So, its dia is 10 centimeters and height is 15 centimeters and we have calculated the mass of the soil that is taking to fill that particular container right. So, initially we have noted mass of the sand plus cylinder right sand pouring cylinder it is 7404 and we have released the soil ok and we have noted that as W2 or M2 ok and W3 is the mass of the sand plus cylinder which is retained on in that sand pouring cylinder after releasing right. So, we have three values here if you if we need to find out the mass of the sand that is occupying by the container we need to subtract this W2 and W3 from W1 right. So, I have also shown in practically how things works there right. So, that is how we get the mass of the sand right. So, we know the mass of the sand and we know the volume occupied by the sand that is how we get the density of the sand right. We know the density of the sand right and also we know that the uh, weight of the soil that is filling this hole right. So, the weight is uh, approximately 1744 grams we have also calibrated same uh, as we uh, did while measuring the density of the sand right. So, using that relation we can find the mass of the sand that is occupying the whole uh, hole right. So, we know the mass of the sand that is occupying and we also know density of the sand right using this relation that density is equal to mass by volume we know mass here, but we need to find the volume of this hole right. So, and we know the density using uh, simple relation we can calculate the volume as volume as mass of the sand by density of the sand right. So, it is reported that volume of the sand is volume of the sand is something like 903.3 cc right and the weight is this is the weight this is the uh, weight the weight is 1744 and the volume is 903. If you divide this 1744 by 903 we will get the bulk density of the soil this is the bulk density of the soil right and we have also some uh, uh, taken some soil to determine the water content we noted we came to know that the water content is 23 percentage using oven dry method. So, we can calculate gamma dry using this relation gamma bulk by 1 plus water, water content. So, we get the dry density of the soil as 1.5 uh, gram per cc using sand replacement method right. So, whole thing is we need to find mass and volume how we are we know the mass how we are going to find out the volume the volume is found using uh, sand right. We need to initially find out the density of the sand and we need to see how much amount of soil is occupying the whole volume. So, using that relations we can calculate the volume right and using mass by volume relation we can calculate the den bulk density and similarly the dry density. Thank you.